Now, mental health advocates are calling on governments to establish more counseling units and integrate creative therapies such as painting and coloring into school curricula. Now, the goal is to address the needs of children with special abilities and Down syndrome. The advocates emphasize that these creative skills can help special children develop better perspectives, harness their potential through artistic expression, improve communication, and promote self-reliance within society. Now, Jacinta Edwin, Executive Director of the Friend Advocacy Mental Health Initiative Fam, highlighted the importance of incorporating creative drawing and painted into school programs. She noted that this approach offers better support for children with special needs, helping them cope with emotional and mental challenges. Advocate for increased access to counseling units in public schools, right? And we have realized even the private schools are not adhering to the provision in the educational um, policy, national education policy. So these needs of children with special needs are prioritized, and that's something we have been pushing for. We for children with special needs to have a glimpse of their everyday life, to see how we can help them manage themselves, and to see how we can make spaces for other people to accommodate them in the society. These children are often misunderstood. If they are equipped with this kind of artistic skills to express themselves, communication is even much, much better and accommodation for them in spaces will be made. Now, mental health experts emphasize the need to equip children with special needs with innovative, creative skills. Now, this helps enhance their emotional well-being and facilitates their inclusion in society. They also encourage parents and teachers to give these children dedicated attention while advocating for inclusive platforms that promote equality and prevent discrimination against children with special needs. Uh, you know, one of the things that I had hit when mental health goes wrong is self-esteem. And for children with special needs, because of their challenges, they have difficulty integrating uh, into the society, or let me say the society usually often uh, kind of uh, separate them or tend to ignore them because of their special, the nature of their special needs. What we are trying to do is to bring these children together. If you look, you can see there are children with special needs, there are children that are the so-called normal children. We bring these children together to work together to explore the act we are carrying out so that they can understand that they are not any different from any child. They are able to do things most other children can do and that will build their self-esteem uh, it will give them that, uh, that that courage you know and belongingness to participate in activities going forward to ensure that to help parents understand that there are other ways that they could manage their children both mentally and otherwise right we are also trying to also help schools to understand that exploring non-conventional means of learning like art like coloring different kind of things can also help them achieve their academic goals for children not just children with special abilities and we are able to see that children with special abilities are nothing but special they are not different they are not difficult but they should be made they should, they should we should make spaces for them in social spaces hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates